guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're seeing me for the very first time my name is Rafi and welcome to Rafi's vlog if you're a returning viewer or a returning subscriber welcome 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 back many of you have been asking me how was your interview like when going to the german embassy well i was very composed i was very calm and I was very relaxed. <laughs> I was not very relaxed though. <laughs> I was tensing, I was frightened, I was not nervous, I was feeling all matter of emotions. Come on, it's the German embassy. These people decide your future. <laughs> Going to the German embassy in Kenya was basically my first time being there. I had never attended any interview in the German consular. Never, never. I never knew what to expect. That's why I was nervous and all matter of emotions filled me. I had arrived early, like I think one hour early, but I was literally trembling. When you receive your visa, it'll come like this with one sheet. And if you open it and you see your visa written there, visum, 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 visum. Then that means your visa has been approved and you're able to come to Germany to study. But when you receive your visa and there's a lot of documents written there and a lot of the documents there and those documents are very fat, to be honest. Then that means your visa has been denied and these documents are a testimony of all what you have failed to do as pertaining to your application as for a student visa. Yeah. <laughs> so how was my experience like attending my interview in the German embassy in Kenya? Well, the first thing that I want you guys to know is that whatever I'm going to say here, it's based on my personal experience. Well, <laughs> I would tell you guys, first of all, to dress decently. Don't dress like you're going to the club or you're going for a party or you're going to meet your friends. Just dress decently and don't dress very formal, like wear a suit or something like that. No, just dress the way you like dress, the way you normally dress, like put on a shirt for me. I just put on a shirt and trouser and sport shoes. That was it for me. It was not much of it. And Number two, make sure you have all the documents that have been stated in your checklist. So like you need to make sure you have organized all those documents the way they have been written on your checklist. And also just having a folder to carry all those documents. So in case it rains, your documents don't get wet. <laughs> or in case uh, of any other um, just to make sure that all your documents are there and cross check just make sure everything is there we don't want to avoid any mistakes when going to the embassy that's what i did number three punctuality is of high demand you need to be very punctual when attending such interviews when they have said 8 a.m by around 7 30 you need to be around the vicinity of that uh, of that console so don't come at 8 10 or 8 or 5 or 8 or 2 please attend on time one thing about germans is that they hate people who come late so don't put up a bad impression of yourself to them so just attend on time and I would suggest that come at least 30 minutes earlier so that it gives you enough time to huh, cool down, remove the stress, <laughs> remove the anxiety, fight it off for a while and um, make sure you have all the documents and making sure you have everything sorted out and you're ready to come and slay and kill that interview and get your visa approved 
One thing I noticed about the German embassy is that there is a waiting compound away from the German consul. Like you literally wait in the compound, there are some seats there, then after that they will call the number of for the appointment and then you go there to the to the desk and confirm then you sit there and then you wait as they will call you later they will uh, tell you to leave your phone and leave all the electronics all the metal all the keys you'll be told to leave it i think yeah at the entrance then after that you'll be told to proceed with your document to now the premises of the con the consul premises a disclaimer alert that i'm trying to describe how the consular is so i might repeat myself and i might uh mistaken it for something else <laughs> no 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 i might repeat myself so this is how it is so there is the waiting room the waiting compound and then after that there is now the gate to the premises of the consular so you go with your with your documents to the consular by the consular first sit because you need to wait because there are probably some people in the teller uh, actually um, applying for various types of visas. Please don't staple your documents. Please don't staple. Who give you that power to staple? Who do you? Who did it? <laughs> don't staple your documents. I would suggest you use a clipper for all of your documents so that you arrange them in order. Then you put them in the file or a clear bag, something like that. Let that job be given to the uh, consular or the visa officer. So when it was my turn, I gave out all the documents that I had and she, she looked at them. She was doing copies, making copies of them and taking some of them, stapling and gluing the photos to the application form. And then she asked me like, what are you, what are you applying for? I'm applying for a student visa. Where are you going to study? I'm going to study at Universität Bayreuth. Mind you, this visa officer was like, Bayreuth? Bayreuth? Is it in Belarus or what? Like, what the fuck? This visa officer, like, she never had any clue of Germany. I guess <laughs> it was just interesting. And I was like, yeah, Bayreuth. There is a university called Bayreuth in Germany. And she was like, okay <laughs> i never heard of it and now like okay and you're the visa officer okay then she asked me what i'm gonna study and i said i'm gonna study masters in development studies and mind you that was it that was it of my interview one thing that you should know is that the German embassy and the U.S. embassy are totally different. Uh, the visa officer has the power to deny or accept you. But in the German embassy, the visa officer is just an intermediary. So this person has no power to deny or accept you. So this visa officer, what will do, he'll just make sure that you have all the documents that you need to apply for that visa and send those documents to the foreign office here in Germany. So the foreign office here in Germany will decide whether to grant you the visa or not. And if you checked on my previous videos on writing a motivation letter, I would tell you that your motivation letter is of high and extreme significance because this is the only way for them to know what your intentions are to, when coming here to Germany. Someone is asking themselves, what social ties? What are social ties? Anyway, you should just Google and find out what social ties mean. So you have to have something that will bring you back to Kenya, you know, something that proves that you're not going to Germany to stay forever. Come on. You're going to Germany to study, get your degree, get your masters, come back to come back to Kenya, 
and use that the knowledge that you have gained in maybe creating projects developing um different sectors in the in your country's economy so basically you have to have social ties something that will bring you back well my social ties were really really funny <laughs> I had a ship, I had taken a photo of a ship, selfie. <laughs> I had so many things like I had a selfie with a ship and I I had the photos and then I had said I'm coming back. I have started a project and I'm coming back. It was so convincing that you could not think that I was going to stay in Germany forever. That's enough to convince the Ministry of Education. Ministry of Foreign Affairs. So that's enough to convince them. Number two, make sure you have proof of financial support. Mostly people go with scholarships. That's acceptable with blocked account whereby they deposit like 10,000. I think right now it's 11,000 euros into a German account here in Germany. And um, then they will come and access it when they arrive here in Germany. And other people also sign in the obligatory letter, which is the Verschpflichtungserklärung. So mind you, the Verschpflichtungserklärung is only signed by a German citizen. Let not your mother, your uncle not sign for your Verschpflichtung and they are not German, excuse me. They must be German, German citizens. In signing of the obligatory letter, I want you guys to notice something. So for example, you have a boyfriend here in Germany and you guys want to be together and you saw that studying in Germany would be a nice opportunity for you guys to know each other better before progressing to maybe becoming fiance or getting married. So if it's your boyfriend signing the Verschpflichtungserklärung, it is very important that your boyfriend just writes a friend don't write boyfriend, don't write fiance, my dear, that's going to cause a lot of problems. So just write friend is supporting him. And when you come here is when you can now do all the things that you want to do. If you want to be called fiance, if you want to be called wifey, if you want to be called happy, that's what up to you. I guess that's all the information that you need by now about the visa uh, process and the visa interview personal experience probably that's probably enough for now but i want you guys to stay tuned stay tuned to my next videos so my next videos i would be maybe making videos on how to fill the application form for the visa on how to fill in the Verschpflichtungserklärung. I hope I've, I've pronounced it well. I've not butchered the name. Any <laughs> Verschpflichting, Verschpflichtings, Verschpflichtungserklärung. Anyway, anyway, I know obligatory letter, how to fill it and what are the requirements. And also I would many many videos to come your way and just stay tuned to this youtube channel and always know that i'm going to give you the best information all the information that you need to get yourself here in germany and also and also yes you 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 there you you i'm looking at you i'm looking at you have you clicked on the notification bell have you clicked on the subscription? No, you have not. <laughs> you have not. Okay, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and click on the notification bell to stay informed in case I upload any other video or more videos to come. So take care and take care, take care, take care. How do I say? Choose. Choose it. <laughs> Bye.